Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 6, entitled A Fractured House. Obviously, I just got done watching the episode. But before I get started, I want to say that I feel bad for the show. And no, not because I dislike the episode. And no, it's not like I'm apologizing for any negative thing I said in the past about the episode. No, I feel bad because last week they made this big, huge deal on how this week, this episode, was supposed to feature the world premiere for the trailer of Avengers Age of Ultron. And I was pretty excited for that. I said, holy crap. Now, here's a good reason to get excited for next week's episode. Until just a couple days later, the trailer got leaked. Damn it, Hydra. So then Marvel, of course, just released the trailer online, and it did something like 18 million views in just a couple of hours. By now, it's probably over 50 million views. So that sucks for this show, who probably would have gotten a good amount of extra viewers. But, oh well, let's talk about the episode. Um, it starts off with, you see this group of almost, I guess, hit men. They break into this this meeting going on with government officials and they start killing people left and right and they claim to be shield agents clearly though we know that they're not because i've never seen these guys before but you know what i thought this was interesting i thought wow okay here are i don't know maybe either hydra agents or even maybe another group who are pretending to be shield to bury their name to the public and to the government to make them look even worse so I thought that was interesting. Too bad they didn't really do a whole lot with that, though. But still, either way, uh, another thing that happened in this episode was Adrian Palicki, who we got that great reveal last week that she wasn't really Hydra, she's S.H.I.E.L.D., and she's also the ex-wife of Lance Hunter. And you know what? I initially didn't know what to think of how their relationship was going to be back and forth, the snide comments and how they would have to be working together and what would happen. But you know what? I thought it was a little entertaining between them. The most interesting thing that I found from them having a conversation on their helicopter plane was that May used to be married. Maybe they mentioned that before. I don't remember. It's just when I heard that, I said, wow, she used to be married. But of course, she's not talking to the guy anymore. Who knows what happened to him? She probably killed him. Fitz and Simmons arguing was really, really emotional, you know? Again, I can't stress enough how last season I didn't really care about these two. They were sort of just the goofy team that always did the same thing in every episode. But here, they've now they've gone through so much together, and their relationship is strayed. They're a little drifted. Fitz is clearly upset with Simmons because he feels like she left him alone. To deal with his problems and I don't know it's it's questionable exactly why she left I mean I know she had to go undercover but did she have to sky talking to Ward was interesting because Ward is such a great liar such a great manipulator I like how they played it up to where at first I couldn't tell who was telling the truth if his brother the senator was being honest about Ward and the whole backstory that we heard about with his brother and how he died in the well. But Ward is, again, convincing. And I think him being like this has made his character so much more fascinating to watch because he is so good at lying. He is so deceitful. He does play up the whole spy character, undercover character so well. You can totally buy that he convinced these people to trust him and screwed them over. Even the scene where Coulson just scolded Ward out and was pissed. I think we needed that because I don't think Coulson's ever addressed Ward face to face for everything that he's done. Ward is supposed to be transferred, courtesy of his brother, to a different facility. And the way how he broke his fingers and got out of the handcuffs and then basically escaped was awesome. A great way to end the episode. Again, Ward is becoming one of the most fascinating characters on the show. To see where he started off in season one as a sort of dull and 
not really interesting lead to now possibly a major villain unpredictable I love it um, my only complaint well I shouldn't say only complaint but the biggest thing that I want to complain about right now is they need to do something with triplet I see triplet just in the background like on the computer telling them information I'm like my god six episodes in and triplet hasn't done anything of significance they haven't done anything with his character. He's just there just to be there. And maybe this is a good amount of reason why I don't care for Lance Hunter is because he just came in and has taken all of the screen time when I'm looking at Triplet, who is funny and seems like a nice and cool guy. I want to get to know him so much more because he's been there since last season, but they don't really do anything with him, and I just resist the idea of bringing on so many new characters if it's going to take away from characters that I want to see and see more of. Um, like I said, they were supposed to show the Avengers trailer, but they ended up showing this quick scene of basically the Avengers hanging out. They were joking around and they were all trying to pick up Thor's hammer. I thought that was amusing, seeing Tony Stark try to do it, using his Iron Man hand, and Rhodey even came in, Captain America tried. That was funny. And then that's when Ultron shows up and does the line about them being puppets on strings. So awesome. I, I got the chills seeing it. And then from that point on, it was the trailer that we all saw. But I didn't mind, because I, I've already watched that trailer at least 10 12, if not more times, so I did not mind watching it on my TV. But another thing that I thought was cool that we saw another commercial of was that Agent Carter, the series, is coming in January. That's a whole hell of a lot earlier than I thought we were going to get this. I thought we were going to get this show like next summer or whatever, but no, we're getting it in January. And it's only an eight episode miniseries, but that's totally cool. And from what I understand, I think it's going to air during the hiatus of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a perfect way to time this out, so you never really feel like you're missing anything Marvel. I cannot wait for that show. It looks pretty cool. So anyways, guys, I enjoyed the episode, like I said. Let me know in the comments below if you saw this. What did you think of it? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!